I've now made a dedicated 6mm probe out of an old milling cutter. The first thing I need to point out here is that I've got this vise electrically isolated from the bench, from the bed of the machine. So if I try to do a continuity test, you hear that? But if I touch the bed, nothing. I've got a sheet of plastic underneath here and insulating washers under the under the metal washers. I haven't tightened these up, I haven't lined this face up yet. So that's why these are slack. But it's the point is that this is electrically isolated from the machine. Okay, we're going to find the centre of this top face with my new dedicated probe. So I've already entered the size of the top face here, which is 50 millimetres by 15. So the first thing it will do, it will go to the approximate centre, find the surface, touch on the surface and find the surface. Then it will touch on each side and then calculate where the center is and go to the center point. But first I have to attach the probe. Right, I've got it lined up now and all the parameters set. So I'm going to find the center of this top, top face. is now standing at the centre of the top face.
Hello there. And there you've seen the block centre finder code in operation, followed by a machining operation drilling some holes. Unfortunately, there's no dedicated button on my machine at least to implement this code, like the centre of a circle button or the edge finding buttons. So this code has to be run as normal. Um, and the actual code is in the, my comment section below this video. So if you wish to try it out yourself, just copy and paste it into your system. Do let me know how you get on. Hope you find this useful. After this comment, there's another couple of examples of finding the center of a long thin edge and another of a square plate. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Bye. The thickness of the material is in parameters 1 and 2.